course, right before release of the reptiles, we find this gray tree frog. It's a shame that we couldn't have one for a show. It's pretty large. It's a um, Cope's gray tree frog, and I your name in my hand, but yeah, pretty cool find. Okay, so the first up is green frogs and tadpoles. I tried to get Drake to come along with me, but he was busy at the time, so I'm just going to do this. Okay, so let's go and release them. Go free into the water. So here are all the tadpoles and the salamanders, the baby tadpoles and the salamanders. Okay, so these guys shall be free. Bye. Oh, I like those tadpoles. So here's the marbled salamander. I think Drake found him here, so I'm just gonna put him back here. Bye, Mr. Salamander. Right near some logs to hide under. I actually like this animal. It's one of my favorites at the show. There he is. He's sort of getting scared by the light, but he's right there. Okay, so we're at the pool. Now let's get the skink who clearly does not want to be picked up. Oh god. Here we go. And so let's release him right over here. He's just going across where I found him. Okay, I gotta re release this ground skink. Okay, found it running across the road right here. There it goes. It's okay, so Drake found the warm snake on this log right around here. If I can even get it. I can even. There we go. Okay, so he found it under a log right here, so we're just gonna put him back. Bye bye, worm snake. He's definitely one of the cooler reptiles of the show. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is where we caught the pickerel frog. So if you'd like to hop out right now really nicely. Oh my god. Okay. I almost had him. Here. There. No. Okay. I'm just gonna put him back here. I saw tons of them hopping in. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Well, hopefully he'll go back to his little lagoon here. Saw a bunch of other ones hopping in though. It's a really nice spot for them. I'm right nearby a road. This leads into a huge stream. I'll probably do a video of that soon though. Okay, so next up is the um, the uh, five line skinks. I need to get this one. Ow, oh, this one's biting. Okay, I think where do I find this one? I'm trying to remember. I found this one in my backyard. There, he got off. Okay. I know, did he? No, that's the other one. Let me get, go and try to find the R1. Okay, so I'm searching for the R1. I'm, I have to tell you a story. So when I was releasing the pickerel frog, I found this crazily awesome and amazing American bullfrog. It was actually the first time I found an um, American bull bullfrog on the street. Um, most of the time we only find green frogs because, um, yeah, I don't know why we don't find any bullfrogs, but... Yeah, today was my first bullfrog find. I'm just gonna let this skink go back here. There it goes. I haven't seen it anymore. But yeah, um, yeah, pretty much. I found this huge bullfrog. It we only find green frogs, but it was about um four inches. I it actually bit me because it probably thought it was food wriggling around in the crevice I found it in. But yeah, um. That was that was quite interesting. So Walter and Janae found this on the side of their house, so I might as well just return it to here. If it would stop biting me. Here, I'll put it right along here. The siding of their house. So we caught this guy who's running away. I released him. We found him in our basement, so we just thought it was great to put it back near the pool because our basement is just right there. and That's probably where he's from. So yeah, there goes him. So this guy we tried, this little American toad here, we tried feeding it to one of the snakes, but the snake wouldn't eat it, so here he goes, the grizzled veteran. Might as well put him in the water. I, th I think the snake bit it, but it might be bleeding, but yeah. Put him back right where we found him. Right back here, I think, right next to the lavender bushes, so yeah. Here we are, the beautiful, majestic swamp that's behind the church. 
where we release these critters, these spring peepers. Let me get this dude out, Lou. Probably should put this on a more elevated surface, or on a less elevated surface. He already seems ready. Oh, dude. Where did he go? Looks like it escaped, but whatever. Just wanted to take some final photographs of him for our scrapbook, but I think that's good enough already. So, yeah, he's now in the wild. So, for these last few releases, we have me, Drake and oh. me with the haircut. Oh, God. So, we're releasing the gar snakes I'm now. About right back here. Right. There are the snakes, and um, yeah, we didn't want to release yeah. these in the yards that we found them in because. Yeah, oh. one of them was found in my yard. And another one was found in um, a friend of ours' yard, yeah, and their parents would probably kill them, like, so. That camouflage, I probably didn't get a very good shot of it. You can't even see it really. It's right across yeah. the bush. Look at it. As it uses so. slowly. Yeah, see, it's just going right through the brook. Okay, Drake, don't disturb it. I know, I was just. Okay, there. But, yeah. Oh, look, the other one's getting in the water over there. The other one's like in that water. <laughs> Fantastic quality. Okay, so now we're gonna go and release the eastern <laughs> box turtles. Um, this guy's clawing. But Crazy. yeah. We have all yep. three of them right here, and <sighs> this is where Drake found all of them yep. out in these woods, and we're just going to have them go. This one doesn't seem very reluctant to go, but yep. that one's like, ooh, I know, I know this place. Yep. We're going crazy. I think we should enter these turtles in a race oh, gosh. against, like, NASCAR drivers and just watch them win. They would. So as soon as we got back, um, Drake found this Easter box turtle. <laughs> yeah, it was just of course burn, box burrowing in here. Completely different spot. It was right nearby the road, but yeah. yeah. But look at his eyes. It has oh, an eye infection. Yeah, an eye infection. It usually a... comes out of hibernation. It's a pus plug, and we're gonna put him back. 